I am just taking a walk today. <laughs> Another one. I, it's extra boring today and I just couldn't handle the phones once again because there's so much negative coming from other people on the phones. I said, screw it, you know, it's just not a good day to make phone calls. So I, after an hour, I sort of gave it all up because it's like an hour of consistent you know, it's either a dead call or a very knocky call, you know, there's no positive, nothing to reinforce any aspect of the idea that I could make uh, a booking, so I said, screw it, I'm sick of this, <laughs> sick of this, just having a bad day, um, which is okay, I mean, that's what these sorts of jobs are for, you give it up whenever you feel like, and you do it whenever you feel like, but I literally felt overdone with, with putting up with, you know, negative co comments, and I was like, screw it, I've had my fill, I've done a whole hour, but uh, I didn't get in as much work, I always lose my patience very easily, though, last week I was on a roll, last week I did quite a lot of calls, you know, for hours, but this week I just, I mean today is just the start of the week and I was like, oh I don't want to make any more knocky phone calls, otherwise I'm going to literally like scream, so. And I feel, I feel really hungry for some reason, I've been eating all day, but it's like, I just need a nice big meal or something, because snacking is, doesn't always do it. Um, I usually do have like a milkshake in the middle of the day and that usually lasts me until evening But it's not as though I didn't eat anything. It's just whatever I ate didn't fill me up. I think I had banana bread and lollies <laughs> And I'm like well that didn't that's not a very good diet <laughs> um, Just didn't hit the spot Because I'm virtually very hungry And I feel I feel like I could use something substantial because my. Well, sometimes when I get hungry, I feel like. Yeah. It's like a build up of gases and it makes me feel very uncomfortable. So at the moment, I feel a bit bloated and, and hungry. <laughs> and yeah, I couldn't be bothered working. Why work when I can do a look at a sky like that, really? <laughs> So pretty. I've got a headache. I have all these dumb jobs. I applied for more dumb jobs to today and no idea if I'll get any of them. And it's like, I sort of want a job. I want a real job where I'm earning money. X amounts of money per week would be nice. But at the moment, nothing's really working out. I've got all these dumb jobs which have loads of, I think I'm going to water this because literally it's been looking like crap <laughs> for like two or three days so instead of watching it die I'm going to go and get that watering can and just water it because it looks, still looks like it's um, malnourished. I mean thirsty. Not malnourished, thirsty. Oh yeah, that's what I forgot to do today. I'll do it tomorrow. I've got seeds to plant, seeds to put in the fridge for X amount of days. I think it's like two or three weeks. Put some seeds in the fridge for germination. I don't know if you really need to do all this germination stuff though because they look pretty active. They look like if you plant them in soil, they'll grow. I don't know if they really need that refrigeration process. Here's the old bucket. Just gonna collect some water. But I'll use the bigger one because I think I seem to like to carry that one more. Water. It's just 
beautiful one print. Look at this. These are seeds. They're the new seedlings growing up very tall. It only takes a week. It only took a week, couple weeks. Almost near flowering now. Very, very impressed. Water this. It's had its tray taken away. Man. So unfortunately, I don't think you'll get to see me watering the garden because uh, there's some. This one. I want this one to have it all. Really thirsty. That one looks like it's not doing very well. This one's okay. This one's a good one. Fig. Figs grow anywhere. What we need is an apricot tree and a mango tree. Then all, then all, like, all our garden will be complete, really. This is my my plant. I don't know what it's growing. I just watered it anyway. It doesn't really have a lot of water. might be growing some sort of plant. If it flowers, I'll just leave it there. The sky is looking nice. Oh, I'm so hungry. I think I'm going to have to lay down till dinner because I'm not going to get any exercise in until I've eaten something. any dribbles. Oh, I'm starved. All I can think is how hungry I am. Garden's generally doing well. <laughs> I really have nothing to, to talk about. I could say what was on my mind all day. Just me thinking about sort of modeling what, hap what, what would happen if I get another chance with it. Um, of course, you know, I have to get my weight down. Helps if I move closer to the city where there's actually jobs. I was just thinking, what if I do get another chance of it? Well, I just would hope that everything's like new, there's no one, I, I, I would hope that it's actually better <laughs> than what I've ever had it, um, I want more, more paid gigs and not so much like voluntary gigs paving your way slowly towards, you know, the paid gigs, you know, or just tripping on some paid gigs while you're doing a lot of voluntary gigs, so, I mean, you don't sign a volunteer contract, but if no one pays you, you just call it whatever you like, you know, it could be the biggest, well, the biggest cheap gig, or, you could call it just volunteer gig, or wet experience gig, whatever you call it, it's not the kind of gig you specifically want, but... but they give you opportunity to be able to be filmed, so... Uh, same with modeling, there's a lot of 
in the unpaid modeling gigs that I've sort of been a part of, and it's like, I'm, I'm sure everyone's having fun and everything, but still, you would probably prefer to do, you would definitely prefer to be 100% paid gigs, but because they pick people up out of nowhere, it's like, you just do it until you get paid, not you do it and get paid at the same time, so it's usually just a build up of expectation. Um, a lot of people just, I think, just like volunteers. <laughs> and you know people can afford it because everyone's like kind of rich and everything, especially if you're doing film, films and things. But um, once they hit the big time and they're getting drunk on money, but you know, and then they say, oh, we're just a small little business who cannot afford to pay you, and you're like, excuse me. <laughs> so, I don't know, I sort of run past a lot of things, and then I forget about them after a while. I haven't been able to keep my hands on a diary, even if I've kept it. A lot of times I haven't kept a diary, but when I have, it's been stolen, because all my belongings are stolen at some several different points in my life. And so I'm always, like, needing to start again, and... <laughs> But, yeah, I would just hope that I don't meet people, even people I once knew, because they're just annoying. They just get in the way of you being able to concentrate on what you, you have to do. And then they try and screw things up. And then they're like, oh, it's okay. You can hang out with me now that everything for you has been screwed over. And you've lost your opportunity. And then, and nothing really makes things better <laughs> when that, all that stuff happens. And so you're like probably I would just not want to meet anyone who's you know distracting you from work and you know ignoring the fact that you're doing something um, and uh, I thought I'd just like I'd rather have just a positive experience paid experience uh, and have everything go well but I don't think that's gonna happen especially not in modeling <laughs> Not unless there's some fancy, fancy dancy competition on TV, and even then it's like they they are screw screws. I I would like things to be fair in the future. I mean, people think that they're going to ambition to do a fair system where you know you're you're not a name, you're like a emoji or something, and and that avoids discrim discrimination against you or whatever so <laughs> and then everyone just is like oh where's that emoji okay well this emoji is being used and then it's like oh let's just shove money in there so towards them because they're you know a big player in this this film so um otherwise people like pick and choose who they like and who they don't like and they even pick and choose for and against names and all this other stuff and it seems like an unequal, unfair, and it makes a good opportunity something uh, that isn't good at all. I mean, it obviously taints the idea of what you model for, as like this organization is pro labor um, and you know unfairness and inequality, slavery. <laughs> you can keep going on and on about the negative side of. How that is if you, if you don't meet fairness and then but everything's just an idea not a fact um, the fact that some people get really get screwed over and I but I would just hope that things are fairer if I ever do that again and if I don't get anywhere with modeling ever again I'll be like well well, I would have to find something else to do, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's not only a side gig. It's not like I try and be this all the time. And at the moment, I'm in no shape. I've got, like, my lounging belly. I look at myself in the mirror, and it's like, oh, this is going to look really bad if you get this one anywhere near film because I've sort of played with my weight a lot. And at the moment, I'm sort of covered with a lot of fat cells and all this other jazz and I'm like not very good <laughs> so. 
but I'll just have to wait and see about that. If I don't get another chance with modeling, I mean, I've got my artsy stuff, and I don't know what else. I was going to apply for a, for a grant to start my own home business, but I think I've done that before. That's an idea. I was, yeah. And have it like a real business. I don't know. Anyway, gotta go. Wasting precious time just talking on the phone.